Hey guys, look what I got to run. <laughs> it's uh, actually ran pretty easy. I, I uh, believe it was just get the official patch, get the unofficial patch, and crack the EXE. But I got Hammer and Sickle running on Windows 10. Um, this is with the... I just installed off the discs that I have behind me, because I got the discs from the game from uh, back in the day. It actually works pretty well. You do need to crack the EXE, uh, which you can find online, like Game Copy World and stuff, which is legal to do if you own the game, which you guys saw my discs the other day, I do. And uh, that's, to, that's to stop Star Force, which is a really, really awful DRM that used to be popular. Um, it just crashes modern computers. So, you know, don't launch the game until you've done that. Uh, but other than that, I got this running really easily. Like, it runs almost perfectly. If I, like, we can do a little gameplay here. Um, the only annoying thing. Ah! Oof. Is a pleasure. <laughs> Life is a joy. I forgot about how amazing the ragdoll physics are sometimes. Um, Sometimes I find the game is slightly- oh no, it's fine now. Sometimes the game's slightly finicky when you're hovering over people and it detecting that you can, like, shoot at them and stuff. Uh, but it looks like it just fixed itself, I don't know why. You'll probably want to use, um, like a frame limiting program like DX Story or something. Just so that it doesn't try to draw unlimited frames on a modern computer and fucking overload your GPU. Um, although I think the game might have VSync support, which might fix that. VSync is sketchy usually. If I go into the menu here, um, the game does support higher resolutions this. I actually have a 2K monitor, so I can go higher than this. But if you do, uh, I won't do it because it'll mess with my capture. But if I do it, uh, it makes the game look all glitchy and you basically can't play it. Like the menus are fine, but the actual gameplay, like up in here and stuff, is all messed up. So, oh, that was a miss. Like a cadet. Yeah, this, this is not a winning run right here. These guys are going to kick my ass. Missed like a cadet. Um, but, uh, yeah, this means that I can stream the game sometime in the future, which I really want to, because I like this game a lot. Uh, I used to play this all the time. I don't think I ever beat it, because it has so many branching paths, and it's so fucking hard. It is unfairly difficult. So, we'll, we'll see. I'll play it on the show sometime. It's really fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically dead from that shot alone. Yeah, just a scratch nearly killed me with that one bullet. Uh, as you can see, Silent Storm engine and everything, same company made it. Uh, it's just a really fun Cold War game. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I need to show you, is that uh, don't play it on higher than 1080p or it'll glitch out. Use a frame limiting program and it runs really well. Oh, and, and, and how I'm capturing this, I'm just using OB Studio, uh, OBS Studio. Game capture picks it up 100% perfectly, no finagling or anything, it just works. Which is nice, I mean, I can think of some modern games that don't run that, or don't capture that easily on OBS all the time, so uh, this captured really, really easily. Anyway, just letting you know that, uh, that uh, I will be playing this on the show someday, I don't know when, because I'm really busy with the Pokemon challenge stuff, but I love this game. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.